Hidden Object Guru here with a quick update on my theories about the fourth game in the Dark Pictures Anthology series. Its title hasn't been announced yet, but I've been calling it Architects of Murder because of this magazine article and because I think it sounds creepy. In my video on the upcoming games, I suggested that the news article might be pointing to a flashback involving the Zodiac Killer at the start of Game 4. Two viewers of this channel reached out to offer their own theories about the possibility of a Zodiac connection. The first, Robert Vilcek, pointed out that this symbol, a circle with an X through it, apparently drawn in blood, looks exactly like the Zodiac Killer's logo if turned 45 degrees to the side. This symbol is found on the same stretch of road where they find the Architects of Murder magazine, so perhaps that's more than a coincidence. The second theory comes from Casey, and it's a bit more esoteric. When scanning for places in Michigan or Wisconsin that I thought the game could be set, I happened upon a town named Paradise, which I opined might make a good setting for a horror game. Casey's comment pointed out that in the Zodiac Killer's letter when he talks about how his victims will be his slaves in the afterlife, he refers to that afterlife as Paradise. Since Casey's connection is based on my video and not an official message from Supermassive Games, we have to take it with a grain of salt. But it's certainly something interesting to consider especially since the idea of collecting victims as slaves for the afterlife is something multiple serial killers talked about. Were BTK and Ted Bundy just inspired by the Zodiac letters? Is it that simple? Or perhaps there's an unseen force out there spreading this idea and inspiring killers. An architect of murder, if you will. In any event, hopefully we'll learn more once House of Ashes is out and we get a look at the trailer for Game 4. For now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to my patrons Desire and Marissa for supporting the channel, Patreon link below the video. And if you have any theories about the Dark Pictures franchise you'd like me to look into, please let me know in the comments section. See you back here for the next thing, but until then, au revoir.